Okay, in this tutorial, I'm going to actually show you guys how to edit poly stuff. Okay, for the most part, the boxes and stuff are fine. Um, we're not really making anything in this tutorial. Um, what we are going to do with this tutorial is I'm going to teach you guys um, a couple of different different things in here. So the first part is, uh, you know what? To be honest, we're just going to make a table right now. So let's let's we'll, we're going to start out with a box. All right. Now it's a huge table according to our units. So let's uh, scale this down a little bit so that it's a little bit okay. So here's our table. Now we're going to raise the table up, and I always turn it right into an editable poly right off the bat and you can do this by right clicking on the box and saying edit poly okay now when you get into edit poly it's the menu faces you're going to change you no longer can change the size and relationship of the box via numbers instead what you have to do is do it according to your different uh, mode types now um, vertex uh, vertex is Let's, I'm going to zoom up into perspective mode, and I'm going to zoom into this so you guys can see. And I'm going to turn off the grid with G. Now, um, with perspective mode, or I'm, I'm working in perspective mode. It's generally don't work in perspective mode. Work in your um, your other other viewports. But I'm going to just show you what these tools do in this mode for now. Okay, so vertexes. Um, with vertexes, they're basically the points um, that you have between. Um, let's, uh, let's do. Okay, I'm going to just show you something real quick here. All right, so I'm changing train of thought. Sorry. So, what we're doing here is before we create this into an O poly, um, you can control your length, width, and height segments. Alright, so for now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a 2 by 2 box. Alright, and then we're going to convert this into an editable poly. Um, so now we've got vertex. What vertex does is vertex is you can move up and down and you can control um, pretty much the points of your grids. All right. Now, be aware that anytime you change the points so much, um, you're not creating a flat plane here. You're actually creating two triangles. All right. So that's what vertex does. Edge basically controls the two vertexes. So again, if I move my edge up, make sure you're paying attention to. This will create a flat two triangles out of your quad. Um, here though, if you notice, when I raise this up, it creates a triangle in the other direction. So in the edge mode, the nice thing about the edge mode is you can go into edit triangles and you can see the way the triangles are. Now, if you always, if you like this, you know, this flat triangle, you can turn your edges by simply going like so. And that will give you the same aspect as that other one. All right, I'm going to undo this, and we're going to go into the next section. The next section is border. Now, border will not work on this object because this object is a closed object. All right, border only works if I have a hole in my mesh. And what I mean by that, and I'm going to jump into the next section real quick. So border, if, if I hit delete, it creates a hole in my mesh. Then I can select border, and border will select that ring around the hole. All right, and I'm going to undo that, and then I'm going to go into polygon. Polygon, as we saw, selects two triangles of a face and then from there we can move that triangle back and forth alright an element is kind of like the uh, element is the object selection so you can have 
multiple elements in one object. So by selecting object, it basically selects the whole thing. All right, and I'll get into this in a little bit. So what we can do is we can, let's first um, do a little basics, all right? Um, let's go into vertex. Now, vertex, remember in the, the previous video, I said that you should not scale anything in the object level. Now, the object level is the edit poly. If I scale that, it screws up the numbers. However, I have no problem grabbing vertexes and scaling vertexes. So let's grab this. And what we're doing is we're grabbing all the vertexes in the middle. All right. Then we're going to go into the scale mode. And I'm going to just scale on one axis, the, the Y axis. And if I scale out, that'll move the vertexes out a little bit. Okay, if I scale inward, that'll move them to, towards the center. So all I'm doing is I'm scaling them outward. Now I'm going to rotate around the mesh. Now I'm rotating using the alt middle again. And I'm just grabbing the middle vertexes and I'm scaling this outward as well. Now, um, that gives us this nice little tabletop, if you will. We can always grab the top poly here. And I'm going to hit W for the move tool. And I can move that up and create kind of this uh, little bevel on my, on my tabletop edge. All right. Now, what I can do is I want to make sure I go into my turn modes and hit edit triangles. And you can see all the triangles that are edited. And I want to make sure that my triangles, I'm going to hit turn. I'm going to make sure my triangles all face in the right direction. That way, I won't have different pieces for each one. Turn that off by clicking on it, and pretty much done with that. Now, I'm going to go through a couple tools here and there. Um, I use, these are the tools that I use the most. So, I've created, I'm going to go into Polygon here, and we're going to go down into um, the inset and I'm just going to select the inset and what that's going to do is that's going to create a indentation of your existing um, box. So what we're going to do is the inset is a nice tool to basically um, create if you will um, boxes within boxes, all right? And I can right click to turn off that. Now if I want, I can extrude or, uh, so you can extrude by clicking and dragging or I can go inward like so. So that gives me, you know, I've just turned this into a picture frame. I can manipulate the other geometry and move it around. That's one way to do it. Or if I want, I can grab these Four points. I'm holding Control to grab the four, the four points, and if I want, I can go like so, and now I have a little tabletop to play with. Now, this is just one way to do things. There's that's the the thing about Max. There's a ton of different ways to create um, different types of geometry in there. Now, if I want, I can scale these and create kind of a smaller aspect there. Um, so these are just two tools that I'm using right now. Uh, there's the scale, um, the inset, I can do you know, a number of different things. Um, but those are the basic what a uh, vertex, edge, border, polygon, and element are. All right.